Hello, and welcome to the Networking Specialist Learning Path for AWS. Now this learning path prepares you for the Network Specialty Certification Exam. And it's a combination of practical courses, labs and quizzes that will deepen your knowledge and expertise in building and connecting AWS services and solutions. So we cover content under the six domains that are outlined in the AWS exam guide. In the first series of lectures, we learn how to define network architectures on AWS and how to derive an appropriate architecture and how to evaluate and optimize for performance and cost. So first we cover advanced subnetting, understanding VPC subnet configurations and VPC routing to ensure you architect your solution correctly and efficiently. The subnets and routing course looks at VPC subnets and VPC routing in detail, providing examples of both across different configurations and solutions, and how to best implement your network design. We then explore the procedural concepts of implementation of hybrid IT architecture connectivity. So we describe in detail the individual parts of IPsec protocol suite, such as authentication headers and encapsulating security payloads. So first we review the AAA of security, authentication, access and authorization. And then we explore securities associations and key negotiation phrases such as IKE phase one and phase two. And we finish our IPsec theory with an explanation of the differences between the different network transportation modes, transportation mode and tunnel mode, for example. We examine where and how AWS uses and implements IPsec, introducing you to the VPC components such as virtual private gateway, customer gateway, and VPN connections. So this section includes two VPC IPsec demonstrations. So first, we will create a statically routed IPsec VPN between two VPCs, and then create a dynamically routed IPsec VPN between two VPCs. So we work with the BGP or border gateway protocol to perform route advertisements and route propagation in those demos. Now, into design and implementation of AWS networks. So we extend our knowledge of AWS networking concepts, specifically the OSI and TCP IP networking models. So we need to ensure that you have an understanding of both these models. It's useful for learning, architecting, and of course, operating large scale networks. To, to start with, we review the open system interconnection model, or the OSI model, which is a seven layer reference model used to aid both learning, building, and troubleshooting of networks. Then we review the TCP IP model, uh, in a more simplified four layer model that is used in the implementation of real world networks such as the internet, and of course, private networks such as corporate LANs. We also cover uh, framing, so jumbo frames in particular, we provide a detailed overview of the Ethernet frame and how and what effect jumbo frames have when configured in the AWS environment. For domain three, we look at automation of AWS tasks. So we examine and explore automation use cases, including security and environmental monitoring. We evaluate automation alternatives within AWS for network deployments. And we evaluate some of the tool-based alternatives within AWS for network operations and management. For domain four, we configure network integration with application services. So we evaluate and explore the DNS solutions in a hybrid IT architecture. We learn to recognize and explain the capabilities of Route 53, the Route 53 service in AWS. And we determine the appropriate configuration of DHCP within AWS. Next, we determined and uh, explore the content distribution strategy available to us and how to optimize for performance using Amazon CloudFront. For domain five, uh, it's design and implementing of security and compliance. So we evaluate the design requirements for alignment with security and compliance objectives. Now, if we need to evaluate monitoring strategies in support of security and compliance objectives, which we do with a number of labs. Now for domain six, it's all about management, optimization, and troubleshooting. So we explore the tools and some of the steps you can implement in AWS to troubleshoot and resolve network issues. And we do this using a series of hands-on labs, which I'm sure you'll find very, very productive. Okay, so if you're ready, let's get started and start preparing for the network certification specialty exam.